Hello guys, Admiral Abadmas here again and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time of coming, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe, hit the subscribe button. So right now we are going to try to create another user. Just repeat the steps that we've done and um, in the next video I would have done the remaining two steps because I just want to use this step to refresh our, our, our brain and um, try to see if we can um, grasp it again. So right now we're going to start with the feature file. And this time let's create like um, the performance glitch. The performance um or the uh, yeah the performance glitch feature so just like we did we can copy everything here and just make the necessary editing so yes so what do we expect the performance glitch user to do the performance user should have a glitch when When logging in, logging into the site. So, testing login for a performance, performance reach user. So when we insert, insert the glitch username, the password re remains the same and this remains the same. We have not created the, the part yet. So what do we need to do? We'll create a folder and name it performance. Alrighty. And then the next thing is I will put a, a step definition folder inside it performance dot uh, steps is a spec file so best practice wise always add a spec to it because you can actually run a spec file with a flag in the terminal so with this we can copy our steps here and see what's going to be to happen Let's copy all the steps we have in standard user. It will work the same. And we paste here because why would they work the same? Because they are going to do the same thing. They are going to log in. But now we need to create a different login, a different username feature. Right? So it can't have the same name anymore. That is where the problem will be. And the product page will still probably be the same. The product page will just still probably be the same because we are just verifying the product title. All right. But the only thing that will change here is the username. So which means we need to create the actions for username as well for performance. So that will be the only difference. So we can create a new file in our custom command and call it performance dot actions so what we are doing here is we are creating steps specific to each one of it to each one of those uh, feature files that we have created so without wasting our time again we'll copy something from here as you can see i've added the fixture file like i said so we copy the insert username here and we paste it here so we call it insert performance username so there's just in between insert performance username so we can equally make this one too distinct and say insert a standard username which we have to represent in the step file 
that we have. Where's the username? So we have to represent it because that's the way it will work now. That's the function that was created. That's the command that was created for it. That's been modified to work for it. So right now, what we need to do is uh, insert the performance username and the performance username is uh, the glitch user. So we can come to the performance.action and add the glitch. All right. Now, look at what has happened. We have created performance and we have created standard. Despite the fact that we started with standard, performance is above. So what this means is by the time we launch our, 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 our um, feature file, performance will be above. And um, let's check our performance steps again and see that everything is correct. We, no, the username isn't correct yet. So let's just pick the username, performance username, and we add it there. And um, let's try to run. If we run performance individually, we um, could see it that way. And um, if we decide to run both spec files at the same time we we'll realize that performance will run first so it picks it alphabetically let's wait for it to run i insert the glitch username oh okay we did not this is the, where the error is we insert the glitch username we didn't, we didn't change this so let's try again. It's already trying to load itself. I usually try to um, discourage people from doing that. So by default, I usually disable the watch for file change. I uh, would rather let um, Cypress have a fresh details each time rather than try to stop it up. So let's wait for it. Mm, I insert the glitch username. We just did that. See why the performance user is not a function. Interesting. See why the performance username is not a function. Do you know why do we why we have this error? Is simply because after creating this particular performance, we did not add this. We did not add this path to the index.js file. So we have to come here and import this particular command here and um, see custom login and after that we see performance so performance has been added now so let's try again let's run performance alone and after that we'll run both of them together As you can see, performance has been clicked and it's taking a while after clicking before it loaded the page. So that's what is meant by performance. It's uh, it's a bit slow. So let's stop that and run both integration files. You will see from the description that it will be running. Oh, we did not change the scenario. Uh, did we change the scenario title? Let's check that okay so we didn't so we should have the performance user should experience a glitch while trying to while trying to finish the rest this way while trying to log in to swag labs so let's run it this way one more time hopefully the final time so we watch it run yeah loaded it as you can see performance user should experience a glitch while trying to log into swag labs 
oh we've tried this before it worked anyway so um let's run both tests together we can do that here for those who are using cypress 10 i um, already made a video on a workaround so you could check that as well so let's run both tests together and see and see which one takes precedence like i explained it's going to run al alphabetically but um let's see the one that takes precedence let's see if i'm right as you can see it's running the performance gate trust because it's running alphabetically so as it's finished running that now we have a stall these um i don't know why this is happening but um I have some cookies here that uh, usually it's a cookie issue so once it is removed and you try to start the whole thing again it runs i have um, seen some um, cypress issues raised concerning this that uh, after each test cookies are not cleared and um, it is bad practice to, uh, to actually add clear cookies in, as an after test because it is primarily primarily uh, expected that cypress does not stop in what's about and okay so we still have the issue so i do not know how to solve this issue right now but as you can see it just serves our purpose for us uh hopefully in the next video i will have a i would have had a solution to this so that it would not happen anymore it's one of those um glitches perhaps uh, it was even caused by my um internet to start with because i had trouble with my internet so thank you for watching this is how you actually create two um, separate scenarios but um, that's not to say that this is your best method like i said there's a way we can create all four scenarios using just one feature file and at the same time there's a way we can create all four scenarios using just one scenario so stay tuned and once again thank you for watching and please do not forget to click the like button and subscribe Bye bye